In a forthcoming memoir titled, If You Would Have Told Me, Hollywood actor John Stamos recounts a captivating and personal anecdote from his past. The story harks back to his romantic involvement with model and actress Terry Copley during the 1980s. Stamos's narrative opens with his initial enchantment by Copley, where he fondly recalls her qualities, her adorable daughter from a previous relationship, and the allure of becoming a stepfather. He expresses the depth of his affection, pondering the possibility of a lifelong commitment. However, as their relationship progressed, Stamos began to detect a shift in their dynamic. While he was away due to professional commitments such as car shows and gigs, he noticed a growing disconnection. Phone calls that were once eagerly answered became met with silence. The couple's frequent conversations turned into an unsettling void. Fearing something amiss, Stamos decided to investigate when he learned that Copley's former husband, Chip Mayer, was visiting for the weekend. His impromptu visit to Copley's residence in the valley revealed a chilling sight. The house was dark and seemingly deserted, yet there was a car parked in her driveway. It was the discovery of a vintage convertible, a 1957 Porsche 356 Speedster, that set off alarm bells. Stamos inspected the car and found personal items, including a poster of his girlfriend in a compromising pose. This poster was unfamiliar to him, and it shattered his assumptions about the relationship. As he explored further, Stamos found a guesthouse with a door slightly ajar. Peeking inside, he witnessed a distressing tableau. Copley and another man, whom he couldn't immediately recognize, were in bed together. The shock was profound, and Stamos describes this moment as his worst nightmare. Tears welled up as he grappled with the devastating sight. His initial impulse was one of anger and confusion, contemplating whether to confront the intruder. Ultimately, he opted to leave discreetly, acknowledging that it was not the right time or place to address the situation. Before his departure, Stamos retrieved the poster, a memento of the unexpected discovery. It bore a heartfelt message to a man named Tony, signed by Terry. This revelation left him bewildered, asking himself, who the hell is Tony? During his drive home, while listening to Elton John's music, Stamos finally connected the dots. The lyrics of the song, Tiny Dancer, were mistaken, and the name of his rival was not mentioned. Instead, it was Tony Danza who was intimately involved with his girlfriend. In the wake of this life-altering experience, Stamos expressed gratitude towards Tony Danza, who, ironically, played a character named Tony on the popular 1980s sitcom, Who's the Boss? Stamos credited Danza's show for helping his own sitcom, Full House, achieve substantial success. He humorously thanked Danza, acknowledging that the unexpected turn of events ultimately benefited his career. This vivid and emotionally charged story from John Stamos's upcoming memoir provides a fascinating glimpse into his personal life and the unexpected connections that can shape one's journey in the entertainment industry. Stamos's memoir, If You Would Have Told Me, is set to be released on October 24, offering readers an intimate and revealing look at his life and experiences in the spotlight.